Hi everyone, and welcome back to Frugal Radio. I was asked a question a couple of days ago by one of the channel viewers, and he just wanted to know, will the AirSpy U-Loop antenna, which I reviewed not so long ago, will it actually work with an RTL SDR dongle? Now the U-Loop antenna has actually been designed to work with high dynamic range receivers. Unfortunately, the RTL dongle is not such a receiver. However, I thought it would be worth an experiment to see just what would happen by coupling the U-Loop to the RTL SDR. For the experiment, the RTL dongle was plugged into the laptop and of course the U-Loop was plugged into the dongle. And this experiment was taking place in the loft where my U-Loop antenna is presently mounted. I used SDR Sharp for the experiment and so you can see at any time the given frequency up on the top of the screen in this instance 5.505 which is Shannon Volmet and where the uh, waterfall is there just above it on the spectral graph you can see the signal to noise ratio in this case in the low 20s which was quite a surprising result I thought for the passive U-Loop antenna coupled with this particular SDR. Bergen, Metroport, Bergen, at 1320 Zulu, wind 230 degrees, 10 knots, visibility 10 kilometers or more, showers in the vicinity, clouds. Here we have the Royal Air Force Volmat on 5450 kHz, a signal that often fades in and out from my location. Next, I spotted a couple of signals in the 20 meter handband. This is Echo Alpha 3 Alpha Kilo Papa, Echo America 3 Alpha Kilo Papa, EV Able 3 Alpha Kilo Papa, calling CQDX for listening. Not bad for a receiver that's not designed for HF monitoring and an antenna that's designed to be connected to a high definition receiver. From 20 meters, I drop down into the 13 megahertz broadcast band. Satisfactorily, should the question come up again, nothing further was said about the matter until nearly a month later when I heard. Next stop was medium wave. Although this particular combo was able to resolve some of the medium wave signals, it didn't do so well on long wave, with only one signal being received. You have to take both things into account and say, uh, unfortunately, you have to say, oh, you know, who is this guy? What, you know, if I had a the VLF band was basically unusable with this combination, although you could just about see the Loran signal on 100 kHz coming through and a few little traces on the waterfall. Nothing was actually audible. At this stage, I reattached the U loop to my AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. You can see the signals were much cleaner and the audio clearer. Honestly, I was quite surprised that the RTL SDR version 3 had been able to receive anything at all with the U loop, given that the U loop really requires a high dynamic range receiver. So, in answer to my viewer's question, yes, the RTL and AirSpy U loop will allow you to receive some signals in HF. Would I want to use this combination as part of a shortwave monitoring setup? 
No. But it was a fun radio experiment I enjoyed performing. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and let me know. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, there's no time like the present. All that remains now is for me to thank you for joining in today. It's always great to be in the company of fellow radio enthusiasts. For now though, this is Frugal Radio, over and out.